welcome back to my channel. Today we're going to be trying out the Estee Lauder Illuminating Lip Shines. They came out 12 different shades. They are running for, get this girl, $32. I know, I was so surprised when I realized how much they were. <laughs> this is supposed to be really hydrating, supposed to give us a nice sheen to our lips, supposed to help with, you know, any fine lines, supposed to be really hydrating, and they're supposed to be obviously a little bit plumpy. So this is what got my attention. I was like, okay, we'll see how much of a plump it gives, how much of a pigmentation it's going to give us as well. It's supposed to be sheer, but buildable to the pigmentation to our liking. So we're going to be testing them out. We're going to see how much of a pigmentation, how does it feel on, is it actually worth it. I hope you guys enjoyed today's video. As always, please don't forget to like, share, and subscribe. Let's jump on in and try these on. Let's take a moment and appreciate the packaging because, you know, this was $32. <laughs> and so far, I really like the packaging, you guys. I like that it's nice and tall and skinny. It's gold. It feels very locked. It feels like $32 so far. And it's magnetic. Like the little top of it is magnetic and it closes, which I really like. So you don't ever have to worry that it's flying in your purse and potentially, you know, rubbing lipstick or lip shine all around. <laughs> so, so far, I really like that. As for the lip shine, you guys, it is so thin. I'll throw it up close clips so you guys can get a better idea of how the packaging looks once you take off the, you know, the top of it. But it is so skinny. It is very, very thin. I feel like I almost feel like I'm getting more packaging than product and I don't really know how I feel about that. But so far, the shade that we're starting off with, this one is 903. It's called Imaginary, which I really love the name. And I'm gonna go ahead and swatch this on the back of my hand. And you guys, it feels like butter. It is definitely very pigmented and buildable. So far, I really love the sheen to it. It has a really pretty natural sheen. I love the pigmentation. It definitely has a really pretty neutral undertone to it, which I really Really love and let me take a quick smell test because I'm really curious to see how it smells as well if there's even a scent to it and to be honest you guys I don't really pick up a scent if anything it smells kind of like vanilla but it's such a soft scent that you barely even smell anything to it which I really like and I really love the creaminess to this so you guys let's go ahead and try on imaginary Lightheart, and this is 917, and this is a really pretty deep brick red. I would definitely, I whatever they described it as, this is definitely it. It's really pretty. I love the neutral undertone to it. I feel like it's a really pretty wearable lip shade that you can wear this during the day or night, and it will complement so many different skin complexions. I love the undertone to it just because I feel like it's not a bright tangerine, but it's also not a red. It's like a nice in between that you can, you know be a little bit more comfortable in wearing this out. Or at least for me, that's how I feel. So you guys, let's go ahead and try on Lightheart. Moving on to our third lip shade, and this one is called Born Flirt, and this is a mid-tone, cool nude lip shade and I personally really like it. These are definitely colors that I would can see myself wearing. These are perfect everyday type of lip colors. It's gliding on effortlessly you guys and I love the neutral undertone that it has. I'm not sure if all of the lip shades are like this or if it's just me the one picking them for some reason um, but I personally really like it. I really love the undertone. This is something that I can definitely see myself wearing every day just because of how pigmented it is. That's literally with like three swatches and I try to do a thick swatch so you guys can get a good idea of how it looks so you guys let's go to try on born flirt Moving on to our last and final lip shade, you guys. This one is called Genius. This is 913. This is a rich rose lip shade, which I really, really love. I really love how pigmented it's gliding on so far effortlessly in the back of my hand. We'll obviously see once we apply it on, but so far I really love this lip shade. I feel like it's a perfect everyday type of lip color. I love how pigmented it is and it has a pretty sheen to it. So far, you guys, I'm not feeling like a plumping effect swatching it in the back of my hand, but obviously we will see, you know, once once we apply it on. So you guys, let's go ahead and try on Genius. tried on and swatched on all four lip shades. Now let's go ahead and talk about them. So I do want to mention that $32 girl, 
I find that to be really expensive, okay? <laughs> Even creating this video, I found it to be hard just because usually my higher end type of review videos don't do as well as my really drugstore affordable type of reviews, like review products. So talking about the $32, I find it to be really high. As for the packaging, I find it to be really, really fancy. I really like the packaging. I love that it's gold, tall and skinny. It looks luxurious. It looks like it would cost $32. I love the magnetic top that these lip shines have. I find it to be really convenient. You don't have to worry about the top kind of sliding off and flying all around your purse. And I really love that there barely is a scent to these lip shines. So that is perfect. It's not going to be strong and overpowering. I love how creamy me the formula is it feels really hydrating on your lips without feeling sticky or heavy on you feel like you barely have anything on but at the same time you do feel like you have something really nourishing on your lips I love how pigmented they are you guys they are very pigmented especially let me figure out which were the two it was genius and then it was I think light heart they're very, very pigmented. You don't even have to apply pressure applying them on. I was dabbing them on my lips at one point just because they were just so pigmented and I didn't feel like I needed more pigmentation than what I already had. So you can definitely apply this on, like dab it on and then press your lips together to get an even application and that is more than enough. You can definitely layer this on without moving the product too much or anything like that. When you press your lips together, you definitely don't see the formula separate. So I really like that. As for a plumping effect, girl, I've been wearing this lip shine <laughs> for a good 15 minutes and I don't feel a plumping effect to this. So if you feel like this is gonna make your lips look a little bit bigger or you know plump them in any way, I don't think it's gonna do that, at least in my opinion, for the four shades that I picked up. So that is the only thing. I'm not sure why they added that in the description. This kind of made it really confusing, but so far, I really love the pigmentation. I feel like they're really pretty wearable lip shades, the colors that I picked, and I really like them. It's, it has a natural sheen. I wouldn't say that they're high shine, but I personally really love the finish of them. And I definitely feel like even though they're $32, I don't feel like this is for everyone. I think you have to be in the mood to make a high-end purchase just because of the cost of it. it's $32. But I definitely feel that this can last you a really long time because you don't need a lot of product to really get, you know, the effect of these lip shines. So I hope you guys enjoyed today's video. As always, please don't forget to like, share, and subscribe for more videos just like this one. If you guys have any questions, comment down below. Let me know which shade out of all four was your favorite. And as always, you guys, I will see you all in my next video. I love you guys so, so much.